Who's patient? Mike, sir. You're late. Patient went into shock in the OR. So, miraculous Dr. Jacobs has saved yet another life. The well, surgeon needed help. Spare me the heroic details. Let's get on with this. Yes, sir. Mrs. Thatcher's bun level was elevated, so we... Did you repeat the blood test? No. Why not? We hydrated her and she improved. How do you know she improved if you didn't repeat the blood test? Dr. Westlake, the flow chart here shows... I can't tell anything from this. What I was going to say was... In my 30 years of practicing medicine, I've never seen such a sorry excuse for a resident team. Jacobs doesn't know how to do a proper diagnosis. Shaw's here only because of his father. Jackson has a lame excuse for everything. And Campion can't tell a scalpel from a toothbrush. I'm wasting my time. Sir, I'll explain if you give me a chance. Evaluations come out in the morning, gentlemen. Have a nice day. You too, sir. You don't really think he'll give us bad evaluations, do you? I think he's capable of genocide, given the right equipment. He can't give all four of us bad evaluations. That wouldn't make him look very good. Well, you don't seem too worried. I'm not. Well, that's because you're demonstrably superior. Don't bait me, Jacob. Save your personality for the student nurses. Listen, Jackson, don't be so smug. I happen to know Westlake has given bad evaluations to a resident team before, and it's taken each one of them years before they got out from under that cloud. Dr. Radburn. May I join you? Have a seat. Come on. This is a particularly grim group. Dr. Westlake at it again? How'd you know? I've seen these symptoms before. He's doing our evaluations tonight. I gotta go to work. Me too. Say, could you give me a ride home in about an hour? I may hang around a while. Can you wait? Mm. No, that's okay. I'll give him a shot. I can't believe it. When did it happen? Sometime during the night. The janitor found his body. Looks like we got lucky after all. What's going on? Westlake's been murdered. It made way, folks. Coming through. God. Jacob's lawyer. You're on his resident team, right? That's right. Dr. Radburn says that you're the most promising doctor on that team. I'm flattered. It shouldn't come as a surprise. I mean, you had that scholarship to Harvard, and worked your way through undergraduate school, and medical school. I know something about how that feels. It's not easy. No, it wasn't. No. You know, if, uh, if I were in your shoes and somebody was threatening to ruin my future, like Dr. Westlake, I'd get pretty mad. I hope you're not suggesting what it sounds like you're suggesting. Oh, no, no, no. It's just an observation. Of course, I will have to ask you where you were at the time of the murder. In my apartment, alone. How'd you get there? I heard you needed a ride. I walked. Well, I guess that takes care of that. <laughs> um, a resident is like a doctor, isn't it? A resident is a doctor. Well, I've got this pain that came on all of a sudden. What do you suppose it could be? At your age, it could be diverticulitis. 
Now, each of the residents will come through that back door, walk across the back of the room to that screen. You should be able to see each of them approximately the same amount of time you saw the man come out of Dr. Westlake's office. Just tell us if you recognize Dr. Jacobs. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, Tyler. Wasn't him. Next. No. Next. That's him. Turn up the lights, Tyler. Your Honor, may the record reflect that Miss Richards once again identified the defendant, Dr. Jacobs. So noted. Mr. Madlock? No further questions, Your Honor. Uh, just a moment, doctors. Your Honor, the defense calls Dr. Campion to the stand. Dr. Campion, how long have you known Elena Richards? About three years, I guess. We met when I came to Chadwick Hospital. And how would you characterize your relationship with her? It's purely professional. Do nurses usually perjure themselves for doctors with whom they're having a purely professional relationship? Objection. Argumentative. Assumes facts not yet in evidence. Sustain. Dr. Campion, are you sure your relationship with Nurse Richards is purely professional? We socialized occasionally. I think you're having an intimate relationship with her. That's why she testified that she saw Dr. Jacobs leaving Dr. Westlake's office the night of the murder to protect you. Relevancy, Your Honor. I'm about to show the relevancy, Your Honor. Proceed. You're a senior resident, is that right? Yes. And soon you'll be leaving Chadway Hospital and going into private practice, is that right? That's right. It must be very expensive to open an office. Yes, it is. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, I'd like to introduce into evidence Defense Exhibit J, these bank records of Dr. Campion's savings account. In the last several months, you've made several healthy deposits, Doctor, for a person living the life of a resident. Your Honor, you know, I don't see the point to this. I'm coming to the point. Proceed. I think you were stealing research from Dr. Lydon's laboratory and selling it to a pharmaceutical company for a lot of money. That isn't true. I'll tell you what else I believe. I believe Dr. Westlake stumbled onto your thefts and summoned you to his office. And when he told you he was going to kick you out of his hospital and turn you over to the police, you killed him. That's a lie. Doctor, you said you were at home the night of the murder. That's where I was. And you said you were never in Dr. Westlake's office the night of the murder. That's right. You know, Doctor, I don't know a lot about uh, hospitals or, or physicians, but I, I learned something interesting yesterday. I learned that almost all doctors and nurses at Chadway Hospital purchase their stethoscopes from the same hospital supply company. Is that right? Yeah, I guess so. So there must be a, a lot of people walking around with identical stethoscopes. Yeah. I guess uh, people pick up the wrong one once in a while. I suppose. Well, I learned that uh, oftentimes doctors scratch their initials or their name or some identifying mark on the back of their stethoscope so it won't get mixed up with somebody else's. Is that right? Yes. Do you have an identifying mark on the back of your stethoscope? My initials are on it. Do you check it every day to be sure it's yours? Not usually. It's always either on my neck or in my jacket pocket. And no one ever picks it up by mistake? It's never happened. I'm very careful. You're sure that's your stethoscope? Yes. Has the same fit and feel? Yes. Doctor, I have a confession to make. 
I didn't really think that little demonstration that uh, we put on with Nurse Richards was going to prove that Dr. Jacobs didn't kill Dr. Westlake. But I did need you to come down here dressed as you are every day with your stethoscope. Would you read what's etched on the back of your stethoscope? D.W. D.W. David Westlake. Dr. David Westlake. What are you doing with that stethoscope? I don't know. I do. In your struggle with Dr. Westlake, both stethoscopes fell. And in your hurry to leave after you killed him, you picked up the wrong one. No. You recognize this stethoscope? This stethoscope was found in Dr. Westlake's office. And etched on the back is MC, Mark Campion, 1981. No further questions. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Defendant, please rise. <laughs>